Welcome back. As promised, we'll be talking about hotkeys this week, which is probably the second part of auto hotkey that everyone knows about or is interested in learning about. Um, meaning there's two parts to the name. There's the auto or automation, and there's the hotkeys, which allow you to respond to someone using your script. So the basic form of a hotkey is we type a key over here, and then we put two colons, and then we put whatever action we want. So we're going to put um, message box as an example over here. And we're going to say, you pressed me. You pressed me. But then we have to use a real hotkey. So um, similar to how send works, um, from the last tutorial, remember we sent some keys and whatnot. Um, if you want to do the, remember we had the special symbols, the control and the alt and the shift and the windows or super key. Those also apply to hotkeys. There is one difference though. When you type, um, when you type things like like enter or down or up, like we did in the previous tutorial, um, you don't put these curly brackets around it. You would just type it. So if we wanted our hotkey to work for enter, we would type it like this. Enter. Whenever we press enter, it does a message box and says you pressed me. Okay. So we're going to run this in a second, but first we have to do something very important, and that is making a hotkey for uh, escaping it. Because a lot of times when you're working with hotkeys, you can make something that makes you unable to close a script in other ways. So we're going to use something that you should get very used to using. It'll, tr uh, it'll save you from having to restart your computer multiple times. We're going to go escape, or ESC which is short for escape, and it's how it appears on most keyboards. And we're going to type exit app. All right. And now when we run our script um, and we press escape, it'll close everything right away. So we're going to hit run. All right. And now you notice it doesn't do anything right away. Our script's running, but it hasn't done anything. So what we have to do now is we press enter and we get a message box. Okay. Um, I have this little tooltip thing here uh, running another script that tells you what I'm typing and that'll become useful in a second. And then you notice our script is still running. It didn't exit after it did everything it had to do so we could press enter again and uh, we get another message box. And if we want to close it we can right click here and hit exit or we can use our new escape hotkey which says it ex exited. And um, now we're going to look at some more. We're going to do Control A. Now, as you may know, Control A selects everything that's on the that's in the active window. If we're not running our script and we press Control A, it highlights all the text in this editor. And we're just going to say return. Return means, in this case, do nothing. Just um, so we'll see what this does when we run it. All right, now if we press Control, if we press Control A, oops, that was Control S. If we press Control A, and you can see it in this little tooltip here. We press Control and A. It doesn't select anything. We can keep pressing it over and over again, and it doesn't do anything because what we're doing is we're blocking that key. Um, I've seen some really interesting uses of that. One person made a script called Toddler Keys. That presents that uh, prevents children from typing all sorts of things that they shouldn't be and breaking your computer. Um, and there's one more way you can use hotkeys. Instead of doing one line actions, we can actually move our return down here, and we can have multiple things: message box ABC, message box DEF. All right. And we're using the same hotkey, the control A. So we're going to run our script, press control A, we get one message box, and then another one right after it. So that's the basics of how you would use hotkeys in a script. And as we get into more advanced things, you'll see how this can be useful and how you can do things other than just do message boxes. But there is one other thing that we talked about, and if we have time, we'll, we can show you. Um, we're going to say, Control zero, 
which would be the zero. 